hello everyone and welcome back so in this video we will learn how to use the sweep feature in console multiphysics to create complicated geometries now there are some geometries which are almost impossible to do uh, manually by just creating different shapes adding fillets and using boolean expression some geometries you might have to use parametric curve equations uh, for example let's say you want to have a pipe which is in a shape of a trigonometric function so in that case you might have to use the sweep feature in the software or else you have to import the geometry from a uh, different software so at first we'll create a blank model so i'll just click on blank model and here in the home tab click on add component and then 3d component so at first we'll have the geometry now we'll go on to geometry and at first what we will do is that we'll click on more primitives and then click on parametric curve now in the parametric curve uh, we will write expressions to create curve for example if i write cos of s and here i will write sine of s and here again let's say cos of s and if we click here then you will see that we will have a parametric curve and the x y and z coordinates are given by this expression where the value runs from 0 to 1 and the s is evaluated for x y and z so this is how you create parametric curve now of course you can make this expressions complicated one such as maybe uh, i'll write cos s into 2 times of cos s and we can create these geometries maybe i will increase the frequency of y and similarly for z also i can increase the frequency and you see that uh, we have a complicated curve in 3d right so what can you do with this for example i'll show you an uh, example for this so let's say i have a cylinder and the radius is 0 0.5 meter and i'll click on build selected it's too big so i will write 10 centimeter by the way uh, you can write the unit in the third packets and height i will make this one centimeter okay so i have this uh, cylinder and the curve now i will also make the radius to two centimeter i think this is fine so what we'll do now is that we'll click on sweep so if you keep the cursor here you will see that it's written sweep a face along a spline curve to create a solid object so what we'll do here is that we'll zoom in and select the top surface to be the face to sweep and in the spline curve we'll select this curve and we will not touch any of the settings here and click on build all object and you see that we get a curve which is quite uh, complicated so we have to change some settings so we'll click on build selected now what we will do is we will change the position of 
the cylinder to the starting point of the curve so if i go to parametric curve the value of x is 1 y is 0 and z is 1 so this is 1 0 and 1 and click on build selected so i have this curve here now in the axis i'll select y axis now this looks quite fine now if i go to sweep again and click on build all object now you can see that i have a nice geometry so now i'm going to explain what went wrong in the previous uh, try so i'll just change the setting that was before uh, so this was the initial stuff that we did and also it was z axis so this is what we did in the previous case but we did not get a nice curve now what is happening here is that when i go on to sweep and select face to sweep as this and edge to follow as this line the software get a bit confused that the face is pointing upward whereas the curve is moving down so it could not actually follow the path properly so what i did is i went to the parametric curve now the value of s start from zero and it ends at one so at zero cos of zero is one so the value of x is one at s equal to zero similarly y is zero and z is one so the coordinate is zero no sorry the coordinate is one zero and one so basically this point is one zero one so what i did i went to the cylinder and changed the position to one zero and one and then click on build selected to position my cylinder at the starting point of the curve as you can see here right so after this i rotated the cylinder along the y-axis to create a cylinder and a path so this will help uh, the software to follow the curve along with the face because it is uh, almost perpendicular to the face right so after this uh, you go on to sweep and then open up the face to sweep and select the surface and again in the edge to follow select the curve and click on build selected or build all object doesn't matter and you will have the required geometry now if you try to create this kind of a geometry manually it's almost impossible to do um, so this is uh, really handy the only thing you have to work is you need to know the equation which follow the particular curve that you need for your project so i hope uh, that this tutorial is helpful to you uh, please do subscribe to this channel because uh, as per the data like 90 percent of the people are not subscribing so just subscribe it's free uh, it helps me to keep motivated to create more videos so okay i'll come back to the video once again so there are few things which you need to take care when you use the sweep feature that is uh, when you select a face and the curve that the face is following make sure that the two objects that is the face and the curve are aligned together for example the cylinder can be placed a bit far away but it should be aligned uh, the ideal case it should be perpendicular to the starting point so that it can easily follow along 
so let's say if i move the position a bit for example i move it along y so minus 0 0.1 and click on build selected so now i have a cylinder here but the curve starts after 0 0.1 uh, meter now if i go to ship and uh, again do that so you will see that i have this cylinder and then it tries to forcefully create the uh, parametric curve and the cylinder so if i click here you see that i have the cylinder here and the parametric curve here so the software try to forcefully create this solid geometry from the cylinder to the curve it does not look that great so that's why i said that the best thing is first you align the curve through which you want to follow the geometry and keep the face perpendicular to uh, the curve or the face that you want to sweep and then you create the uh, settings for the face and the edge and you will have a nice geometry and of course you can play with the settings for example reverse direction twist compensation and so on those are uh, according to your personal preference depending on the project you are working but this is the overall idea how you can create complicated shapes in console without using any third-party software or tool that's it for this video i hope uh, you found this useful and uh, also you can check out my courses those are there in the description you can check them out thanks for watching and have a nice day ahead